Hello Taurus, welcome back. This is your general love reading for Gemini season, so it will not be for every Taurus watching. If it is your story, comment below. If not, you can always check my channel and your other placements for messages you need to hear. Just remember to take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind, as time, energy, and gender are fluid, so reverse roles however they apply to your story. And as always, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell so you can catch future readings. So to my lovely Torian subscribers, thank you so much for your continued love and support. Thank you to those of you who have made donations or purchased private readings. Um, they have been a blast. If you are new to the channel, please be sure to check the description box below when you subscribe. That way you can also connect with me on social media. All of my links, including my website and payment app information for those of you who would like to purchase a private reading, as well as my members only area link for those of you who like your readings a little spicy. So, Taurus, let's get into the reading. As I mentioned, it is Gemini season, and Gemini is ruled by Mercury, the planet of communication. So in this reading, we'll be looking into the energy of your person of interest and finding out what are they thinking and what they want to say to you. So if you find that this reading is more for you and what's going on in your own mind, that's totally okay as well. Just remember to take what applies and let the rest flow lie, never force a reading to fit. So let's get into the actual reading now. We're going to start with the Heavenly Bodies Oracle and we're going to see what spirit wants us to know in regards to the energy of your person. So what is the overall climate, the vibe check? What do we need to see for the sign of Taurus, please, in regards to their person? What is the overall energy here? Okay. So we're starting out with fixed energy. So you, okay, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. So this is about stability, persistence, loyalty, and dependability. So your person could be very fixed in their ways, okay? Um, this could be them really trying to figure out a stable path forward in their life, um, being very persistent or aggressive in pursuing their path. We also have the trine energy, which is very positive. This is about angelic support, harmony, and perfect flow. So things are working in y'all's favor right now. And... Um, uh, whether or not you can physically see that, we're talking about the energy of your person. So this is Spirit's way of popping by and saying, things are being divinely guided and supported within this connection, okay? Um, this also kind of reminds me a little bit of temperance when we're talking about a perfect flow. Um, obviously, there's a bit of alchemy happening here behind the scenes within the connection, um, and that is important to mention. Maybe the two of you have been very patient on your journey. And then we have Venus, which is obviously about love and finances, um, giving and receiving love, finding value and seeing beauty. So um, this could be an awakening of sorts, right? We see the, the clamshell opening with the pearl inside. Your person could be that fixed sort of energy um, and they're having this awakening as to what love really is, finding beauty in this connection, seeing things through rose-colored glasses glasses in a sense, okay? Not necessarily in a bad way, but seeing things positively. Um, I'm, I'm picturing the heart eyes emoji. So again, I do feel like your person is starting to awaken to their true feelings um, and finding real beauty in this connection with you. So bottom of the deck, we now have Mars. So very opposite energy, right? Venus and Mars. So we're talking about intuition, creativity versus the action-oriented planet of war, sex, and action, right? So moving forward and defending self. This could also be your person awakening to the fact that they need to gain balance and take control of their life. This person could very well be taking action on their feelings, um, especially if they're feeling that vibe within the connection, things are being... Um, 
divinely guided there's a good flow there's harmony and um again you know maybe like that fixed energy popping up could be a little bit of you as well um <clears throat> maybe you are more traditional and earthy and uh, grounded and stable and this person's coming into your life to shake things up um i think both of you are sort of on the same page when it comes to this is a divinely guided connection, okay? And look at that. We have Saturn coming up on the bottom of that, which we know Saturn is retrograde right now. Daddy karma, father time. Um, this is about feeling restricted, experiencing struggle, learning hard work, and patience. So since this is the last Zodiac reading, and I've mentioned it so many times in the other readings, I'm going to mention it one last time. So anyone who has been doing the work during their life, right? shadow work, um, going through their ascension, really being responsible, closing out karmic cycles, releasing the negativity, releasing the past, those individuals are going to have some smooth sailing for the next several months, right? All the way through to October. But for those individuals who have been shirking their responsibilities, sweeping things under the rug, repeating karmic cycles again and again and again, and refusing to learn the lessons, y'all are going to get dragged, okay? Saturn is here to drag you. Um, so again, only you will know what's going on in your own personal situation. Your circumstances are going to be different from the next person watching. But um, again, based on what you're going through right now, you'll be able to tell, okay? If you have been pushing um, away certain responsibilities, like I said, or um, refusing to close out karmic cycles, those karmic cycles are going to be blaring like horns in your face all the way through to October, okay? Spirit is urging that you guys let go and release anything that's no longer serving or aligning with your highest purpose. So, <clears throat> This could be good news, right? Seeing Saturn popping up, saying, you know, you guys have been doing the work. But since this card is in the upright, I feel as if even though there is a very supportive energy behind the scenes, maybe there are still some things that need to be dealt with in the physical before union can be achieved here. Okay, so <clears throat> look at that transformation karma facing fears and legacy house eight so we've got scorpionic energy coming up as well um death and rebirth major transformation taking place involving karmic cycles so let's dive even deeper as i say let's dive deeper we have the moon so this is about uh hidden feelings things coming to the surface and being revealed so let's talk tarot okay what do we need to see from this person what are they thinking about currently how do they think about you what are they processing what are they focusing on oops didn't mean to drop that other card but i guess it's just meant to be right taurus so we're starting with the the devil oh my gosh okay so let's talk about that right the devil is temptation it is codependency toxicity what were we just saying this person is being urged to release this sort of energy six of wands is saying that they know that they're going to be victorious all right, maybe this is a pattern or a cycle that this person has repeated many times and they're finally coming out the other end, okay? This person could be very focused on like coming out and winning and um, conquering any adversity that they've been through. I see the Six of Wands as that trine energy as well. Angelic support. Things are happening behind the scenes. Your ancestors, spirit guides are supporting you. So this person's really thinking about this win, this victory that they're wanting to achieve. They're wanting to come out on top over any sort of obstacles they've been dealing with. And again, this could have cycled back and through for a very long period of time. Time. Um, this Saturn retrograde could quite literally be exactly what the doctor ordered for this person. So next we have the Ace of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Sun. Oh my goodness. Taurus, right here, this person is thinking about you, okay? They're thinking about how stable you are, how nurturing you are, how kind you are. 
not only are you capable of creating abundance in your life, but your wifey material, okay, or hubby material, okay? So this person knows that. Also, they realize that this love is true. It's real. It's spiritual. It's sacred. Um, this person could be very focused on loving themselves right now, especially if you're out here setting the example and showing them that you are stable and secure with or without them. Them, that's going to make their love for you grow even more okay even bigger and with the sun capping this off here this is positive energy all the way this is a yes card this is confirmation for some of you guys out there who I know are looking for the sun Okay, so ultimately this sparks an enlightenment and a new beginning a positive path forward this person is really focused on being with you, on loving you, on sharing this love with you. And on top of that, they're loving themselves. They're taking care of themselves. They're taking action in their life in ways that matter. They're closing out karmic cycles. They're transforming themselves. Okay, they're facing their fears, like it says here. And I think also with this keyword of legacy, this person is really, really concerned about their future and what they're going to leave behind. So is it going to be some toxic ass scenario? Hopefully not. No, hopefully this person plans to leave behind um, a strong remnant of masculine energy, someone who's confident and capable of creating the future they desire. So what else do we need to see here for this person, Taurus? We have the hanged man coming up in the reverse. So like I said, this person has already been through enlightenment. Um, they're seeing things clearly now. Spirit has kind of hung them up on a tree and made them see things from a new perspective. So um, also this could be simply saying your person doesn't see themselves as stuck anymore. Oh, I just looked at the clock and saw 1212. So that could be a very significant angel number for some of you guys out there. Um, I just also saw 1221, which is two numbers I've been seeing a lot recently. Um, so yeah, look at that. Eight of Cups, more confirmation. This person is leaving behind anything that is not fulfilling. They're leaving behind anyone or anything that's not on the same page as them. And they're walking towards what they feel is spiritual union, the Two of Cups. I think also they're tired of hiding their feelings, right? And speaking of hiding their feelings, the moon. Okay, we have the moon here. So again, things coming to light, feelings coming to the surface, illusions being dispelled, fears being conquered. This person's walking away from all of that. They want a new beginning, something real, something balanced, something stable. Okay, so let's get one more shuffle here for this person. Ooh, yeah, you know, now, not only that, but if this person is getting out of these toxic cycles, they're also very acutely aware of their need to be independent, right? This is pre-empress energy, someone who doesn't need anyone else to depend on. They're stable within themselves, physically, emotionally, mentally. This is someone who's got it going on. Okay, one step away from that 10 of pentacles, creating that legacy. They know that they need to show up as someone who isn't emotionally needy, right? They don't want to repeat the toxic patterns of the past. They don't want to be caught up in some obsessive behavior or inability to see outside of themselves, right? They want to be someone secure and stable. They want to be free. Now, whether or not your person is single or not, they could still be with someone for some of you. And for others of you, this person has freed themselves from that altogether. The Two of Wands and the Knight of Cups coming up as well. I think that this person is very focused on the future. They're making plans. Okay, they have been at a crossroads and they finally made a decision. Um, the King of, or excuse me, Knight of Cups popped up in the reverse. So maybe this person is a little bit afraid of coming forward and really truly revealing their feelings. This could also be someone who isn't sure about their feelings or who just like spouts poetry like Romeo and then doesn't follow through. Um, this could be at this person's forefront right now because maybe that's how 
how they've approached you in the past. Maybe you could tell that this person had feelings for you, but they weren't actually capable of communicating that to you. They're thinking about that, right? They could still be afraid of being vulnerable. So I love how we have the revealing of the moon here from the eight of cups to the to the knight of cups. We have the moon almost completely shrouded in this willow tree. Now we've got this moon coming out from behind the tree. So I think regardless of how this person tries to hide their feelings, it's like they really can't. They make it way obvious to the point of even embarrassment, okay? So maybe this person has lied to you in the past or told you um, or they were stubborn or they just wanted to work on themselves, they just cared about money, whatever the case may be. Now they're starting to see that it's impossible for them to hide their feelings, okay? It's, it's futile. So bottom of the deck, we have the world. This is another card that's been coming up a lot in these readings. Once more, completing karmic cycles, learning the lessons of life, finding peace and harmony and closure. Um, this is a really positive card. This is world traveling communication. So this person could be thinking of traveling towards you. I mean, even if it's just up the street, okay? This person's at a point where they feel secure and whole within themselves. And that is what is important, okay? Underneath that, we have the fool. So like I said, they're ready for a new beginning, okay? They're ready to take a risk on something new. They're ready to take a leap of faith, Maybe they could have some fear still kind of clinging at their ankles, but it's not going to stop them from moving forward in this new path. This is what they've been planning for, okay? They've been planning for this. And now Four of Pentacles talking about planning. This person's also saving up their money, holding on to every penny they've got so that they would be prepared to start this new beginning. Okay, so um, very interesting. Um, also, I just looked down and it was 1711. I've been seeing 711 a lot as well. So let's see what Spirit has to say. What's the overall advice here? Wisdom. See your adversaries as opportunities to expand your spiritual light. So always trust your inner voice, okay? Um, always trust your inner voice. Expand your spiritual light. Don't let anyone else who's trying to oppose you or whatever, right? This could be haters, naysayers. Don't let your adversaries take the wheel and control the narrative. You are the one who's capable of that, okay? You are the one who's at the wheel. Patience, be patient and allow destiny to unfold at its own pace. We saw that with the angelic support, the energy of temperance in that trine energy and spirits saying like everything is happening for your highest good. Be patient with this person, be patient with yourself. What else do we need to see from this deck? Courage. Live your life fearlessly with courage, strength, and determination. So shining your light is inevitably going to lead this person to do the same, okay? So I've been seeing this repetitive theme popping up in every single Zodiac reading. This person is taking a page out of your book, okay? They see your light. They know that you've been patient with them. They know how smart you are, how capable you are, and they're leading by example now, okay? So you are their leader in this case scenario. They are following your example. So very interesting. Let's see what this person actually has to say to you. I'm going to be using the Mercury Edition 8 deck by The Pretty Psyche, who you can find on Instagram and makeplaincards.com. I will link her below. I'm so embarrassed over my actions. So, you know, maybe this person's embarrassed because again, you've watched them cycle in and around and through and up and down and over again in these karmic cycles. Maybe you've been waiting for them to just get their act together. They're embarrassed that you've watched them kind of go through all of this. Um, and it's just now starting to kind of come to the surface, right? Um, what else do we need to see from this person? What do they want to say? doesn't feel right being apart from you yeah I 
I felt too emotionally invested in you and that scared me. Yeah, you know, again, going back to that Knight of Cups in the reverse, it's like they're, they could just be afraid of their emotion for you, okay? It's too much, it's overwhelming. I wanna tell you I miss you. So regardless of what's really going on, they miss you, okay? They wanna tell you that. What else do we have from this person to Taurus, please? I love you so much, I kept it from you. Yep. Yep, we did see that, huh? Didn't we, Taurus? I still have your pictures on my phone, so they're still looking at pictures of you. Um, doing a little light stalking. I want to reach out, but I don't want you to ignore me. Yeah, there's been a lot of that happening here. A lot of insecurity uh, based on the past. So if this person has hurt you before, or um, again, if this has been a long separation, they are afraid that you're going to turn them down. You're, you're going to put them out. You're going to say hell to the no. And they're going to have to go and walk away with their tail between their legs. This person is afraid. You don't want to ignore them. It's going to crush their ego. Okay. <laughs> um, what else do we have? Some of you are probably like, screw this person. I'm going to ignore them till the end of time. And you have probably clicked off this video by now. But uh, we also have, I get anxiety to lurk you. So obviously someone who is insecure is going to be worried right about what you think about what other people think if they get caught stalking you looking at your instagram your social media um it turns me on how you carry yourself yeah i mean we saw that with the queen of pentacles they know exactly who the heck you are right um and it turns them on it gets them aroused and not just in a sexual way but um it, it like it fills their cup in a sense seeing you going off okay we also have i want to spoil you with gifts so i did have a feeling this person kind of saw um financial wealth or material things as as a necessity in life this could be how they show their love is by showering you with gifts um oh i just looked down and saw 22 22 lots of angel numbers happening here in this reading i was thinking of you last night okay probably um thinking about you before they go to bed okay you probably already know what they're thinking about especially if it's before they go to bed <laughs> i get nervous to call you i don't want to be ignored we're getting both of these cards again okay so i really urge you guys to check your placements there have been look how many cards are in this deck there are so many repetitive messages from one zodiac reading to another it's crazy so uh collectively i would say there is a theme. You always knew how to make me smile. So yeah, you know, you cut this person right through their core. You know how to get to them. You know how to make them happy. And I was in denial of what I needed to see. Yes, more confirmation. This person is probably the type that you've been just waiting for them to get it right waiting for them to see the dang light already for them to see that they've been holding themselves back from their true potential that they've had a new beginning waiting for them and they've been avoiding it right this person was in denial i don't feel like they are anymore though okay i feel like they've already seen the light and look at that we've got i choose to be with you I'm going to end it there. So um, definitely choosing a new path, Taurus. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this person um, tells you this, right? We saw they want to tell you that they miss you, that they love you, that they care about you, that they haven't forgotten about you. And they're hoping that you haven't forgotten about them, that you wouldn't ignore them. Okay, so hopefully for those of you who this is resonating with, this person will reach out and you'll have the opportunity to make that decision for yourself, right? So if it did resonate, Taurus, please like the video, um, share, comment, purchase a private reading if you feel like you need to get further into your own personal situation. And other than that, you guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of Gemini season um, and I hope you stay safe and well. I will see you in the next one. Bye.